Welcome to Cooking with Johan. Um, today we're going to prepare some meals that has to do with the 4th of July. Um, I think the 4th of July is all about grilling, so today we're going to grill some food for you today. I'm going to start with the potato salad, and I like to grill that. I start with some Yukon gold potatoes. I like to cut those about a quarter inch thick. They grill easier. And if they're too long on that grill, then um, they'll start burning and stuff. After you cut those, you want to season them up with a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. Yeah, you want to make sure that everywhere is some oil so it won't stick. Put this on the grill like that. This stuff is so easy, everybody can do that. And even your kids can help you out. I would uh, recommend you doing the grilling. And it's important for them just to be around it too, because they can learn a lot. Well, that is grilling. Uh, we're gonna go grab some onions. Now, on the back of your onion is the roots. The root part keeps all the layers together. So if you keep that intact while we cut wedges out of them, then that keeps all your layers together so they won't fall through your grill, so you can grill your onions. So what I do is just cut the top off, then slightly put your knife in the onion, pull it back towards the roots, and then just peel the outer layer off. So you grab the knife, you cut right down the root, and here you can see how much of that root holds the layers. And then you just cut wedges. Now we gonna use onions too for the next entree, and we gonna have them grilled for the tin foil dinner. So I would be smart if I do that all at the same time. Everything we make today, it's really easy um, and you will be the star if you pay good attention. Better check on our potatoes. You see it's starting to create some um, grill marks on the thinner pieces. See that's what we're kind of looking for, that nice brown um, grill marks on there and what we keep doing basically is turning that over until the fork done. While that is grilling we grab some oil, some salt and pepper. Pass that around and they just lay them right on the barbecue and kind of see with the fork and still feels too glossy it still feels way too hard so the next thing we can throw on is the pepper we're going to just throw that straight onto the barbecue and what we're trying to do is kind of burn and blister the skin so you can peel it right off. See the nice color that comes on the potatoes? That's really good. I like to see that because the dressing will really get soaked up by that dry crust and that will make a beautiful flavorful potato salad. And check out the nice, nice grill marks on those onions. Yeah, if you didn't leave that root part on, all those layers would have fallen through the grill. But, oh yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. That's some good stuff right there. And just start to turn the pepper. Steam creates inside the pepper from cooking. So it like cooks it from the inside out too. See, I start to feel that some of those potatoes are getting done, so I'm gonna grab my bowl. This one is definitely done. Yeah. And the onions go a lot quicker than the potatoes. So that caramelization from that onion, that brings a nice special flavor to that. 
I went to the butcher shop and got myself some nice bacon. This particular kind is nicely smoked. It's an apple smoked bacon. Make sure that you get a clean knife. And you throw that straight in the frying pan. Okay, when we're done chopping up all that bacon, we remember where our hot spot is on our barbecue. Um, if you don't have like just the side burner on your barbecue, you find your hot spot and put your pan right on there. Everybody has a different likeness of bacon being done. Um, this is almost to the point that I like it to be because the dressing will soften up the bacon just a little bit. So that's why I'm going a little crispier than my likeness. Now, you always have to keep something close to you that you can pour the grease in, um, preferably away from the barbecue because you don't want to start a fire. Here's your bacon. The pepper is still cooking. I'm not so worried about it right now because in the meantime, what I can do is start chopping up the onions and the potatoes. Since we were only gonna do half of the onions, we leave the other half in the bowl. We're just gonna cut strips of a quarter inch again. And then we turn that around and just cut cubes that way. Remember we had those um, little root parts. You really don't want to eat that, it's a little tough but um, it was just a great tool to um, keep your onions together. So you just hold it by um, the little root part and slice it all up and then you throw away that little piece of root because you don't want to eat that. It is time just to grab our bacon and we poured off all the grease so it's nice and lean. By now our pepper is really nice and roasted. And that skin comes right off. We're gonna make sure that all the seeds are out of the pepper. Oh and that smells so good. And then what you just do is cut strips. By roasting your own peppers instead of buying them they taste so much sweeter, it tastes so much better. Put that with the potato salad. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of a parsley. Chop that up, put that right there in there. Along with that, we're gonna use some champagne vinaigrette. Pour about that much in. And as you toss that, you can kind of see how, how nice that is. And right now it looks a little bit wet, but don't worry, those potatoes, they're so dry that will soak up all that. I like to season it a little bit with Italian seasoning, just, just a little bit. And again, salt and pepper. Here you go, here is your potato salad. 